talking about global warming being the biggest problem facing this country is insane. catastrophe coming. When they tell you not to panic, that's when you run! According to a new report, experts say that we have until 2030 to avoid catastrophe. It also says if unprecedented changes are not made and made soon, there will be irreversible damage to the planet. Now, a slight change in the president's tone on climate change last night, saying he doesn't think climate change is a hoax. I think something's changing and it'll change back again. I don't think it's a hoax. I think there's probably a difference, but it, I don't know that it's man-made. The Trump administration predicted seven, a seven-degree increase in global temperature by 2100. Seven-degree increase in global temperature. This is a Trump administration prediction. So the Hill says the Trump administration predicted in a draft environmental impact statement last month that the planet will warm seven degrees Fahrenheit by 2100, a development that scientists say could be catastrophic. Among the consequences of such a rise, coral reefs would dissolve, oceans would become more acidic, extreme heat waves would plague the globe, and coastal cities would be at risk of being underwater. I don't want to give trillions and trillions of dollars. I don't want to lose millions and millions of jobs. I don't want to be put at a disadvantage. So it's not a hoax, but the president still is not ready to acknowledge the scientific consensus that major industrialized powers need to take action to stop climate change. Um, we have until 2030 to avoid total catastrophe. Listen, we're already seeing the uh, effect effects of climate change. There was that um, Hurricane Michael that just slammed into the Florida panhandle. And get this, even when it got to Georgia, which was already inland a decent amount, it was still a Category 3. For those, it, Listen, that's a super hurricane there because usually when it gets inland, it the they lose power very quickly, hurricanes. This thing was still a Category 3 in fucking Georgia. This is the first one of those in over a century. Now, you can't say, and scientists will point this out, any one particular weather event um, can be attributed to climate change. You can't do that. But what you can say is, look at the pattern. And the pattern you can attribute to climate change. The Trump administration continues to dismiss scientists at the EPA, this time reducing the number and scientific expertise of the Air Pollution Review Panel. After the strongest hurricane in 50 years to hit the U.S. ripped through Florida, President Trump questioned scientists and their dire warnings about the impact of climate change. What about the scientists who say it's worse than ever? Uh, you have to show me the scientists because... They have a very big political agenda. Trump's call to, quote, show him the scientists is raising eyebrows because his administration continues to dismiss panels of scientists from agencies like the EPA, which advise on issues like public health and climate change. CNN has learned the EPA replaced seven mostly academic scientists, five of them just this week on an air quality standards committee. The new members, many from local government, lack expertise in health science. Freeze federal fuel efficiency standards for light trucks and cars built after 2020. It largely declared that the planet's ultimate fate was already determined and that little could be done about it. Do you understand what was just said? The White House releases uh, this environmental impact statement, and in it they say, oh yeah, by the way, uh, people talking about climate change are totally correct. Scientists are totally correct. It's going to be up to a seven degree uh, increase by 2100. And then 
what they do with that information is say, oh, don't worry about it. it, it it's going to happen, and it's going to happen no matter what we do, so we're not even going to bother trying. We're not going to try to get off of fossil fuels. We're not going to try to have better uh, environmental safety regulations. We're not going to try to move towards green and renewable technology. We're not going to have a new New Deal to totally transition off of fossil fuels. It's going to happen, and it's looking bad. And since it's looking really bad, man, fuck it. So effectively, this is like a doomsday cult in control in our country. Well, not only is the Trump administration dismissing scientists and the president casting doubt on scientists' research, Trump also made several statements not backed up by science, including that climate change will reverse course and that he doesn't know that climate change is man-made. Well, both statements, as you know, Jake, are the exact opposite of what the majority of the scientific community has actually concluded. And Renee, what are these scientists saying? on why they were dismissed from the EPA. Well, uh, I spoke with one scientist today, and, and we spoke with a couple last week who have been dismissed from these panels, and they said that, look, they, they spent their entire career advocating for stricter regulations as it relates uh, to air pollution.